Hi, I am Jinnapur. I am going to show you the cultivation practices in maize in its various stages. Land preparation is the preliminary stage in a crop. In this stage, the soil is pulverized in a way such that the previous organic matter in that incorporated Land is still using the tractor and later the ridge and furrows are made. Ridge and furrows are for the easiness of irrigation and fertilizer application. On the furrows, the seeds are sowed for the easiness of irrigation. Field is ploughed to a depth of 25 to 30 cm using a mould pot plough followed by the diesel plough. Main objective of land preparation is to control weeds, facilitate easy sowing and for easy absorption of moisture as well as sufficient aeration. Seeds are collected which are planted at a distance of 15 cm between the plants and between the ridges it is 45 cm. Planting is done at a distance of 20 cm to 30 cm between the plants and 45 to 60 cm between the ridges. Planting is done in such a way that 5 cm depth to the seeds is given. During germination, the growth point and the end stem are about 25 to 40 mm below the soil surface. Under warm moist conditions, seedlings emerge after about 6 to 10 days. But under cool or dry conditions, this may take two weeks or longer. The optimum temperature range for germination is between 20 and 30 degrees Celsius, while optimum moisture content of the soil should be approximately 60% of soil capacity. The maximum number of leaves and lateral shoots is predetermined and a new leaf unfolds more or less every third day. The growth point at this stage is still below the soil surface and aerial parts are limited to the leaf sheath and blades initiation of tasseling also occurs at this stage. Critical stages for irrigation are tasseling and silking. Peak consumption of water also occurs during this period. The water requirement of maize is up to 500 to 600 mm of water. During this period, the leaf area increases 5 to 10 times while stem mass increases 50 to 1000 times. Here initiation has already commenced till leaves begin to develop from nodes below the soil surface and the growth point at this stage is approximately 5 to 7.7 cm above the soil surface. The tassel in the growth point begins to develop rapidly, lateral shoots bearing cobs develop rapidly from the 6 to 8 nodes above the soil surface and the potential number of seed buds of the year has already been defined. The stem lengthens rapidly and the tassel is almost fully developed. Silk begins to develop and lengthen from the base of the upper ear. For getting maximum yield for irrigated crop, 200 is to 100 is to 80 kg NPK per hectare, in which nitrogen and potassium application is done in three splits and in addition 25 kg zinc sulfide. All leaves are completely unfolded and the tassel has been visible for 2 to 3 days. Tasseling or flower initiation stage is at which the tassels or male flowers appear. Generally, the maize plant would have attained its full height. Silking stage involving the formation of female flowers or crops is the first reproductive stage and occurs 2 to 3 days after tasseling stage. This stage begins when any silks are visible outside the husk. Pollination occurs when these moist silks catch the pollen grains. The lateral shoot bearing the main ear as well as bract has almost reached maturity. At this point, demand for nutrients and water is high. The ear, lateral shoot and bracts are fully developed and starch begins to accumulate in the endosperm. 
The grain cob is harvested when cob sheath turns brownish. Grains become hard and they do not contain more than 20% moisture. The grain cob is plucked from the plant and it is, the sheath is removed and piled up in the sacks. They are piled up for 24 hours and then dried in the sun for 5 or 6 days to reduce the moisture to 10 to 12 percent. The grains are hulled using either tractor drone or electrically drone or mechanical hullers. Here the grain is hulled using a tractor drone huller which is having a maximum efficiency of 1200 kg per hour. Later, the hull grains are piled up and dried in sun to reduce the moisture content to the required amount of 10 to 12%. Later the seeds are packed and keep in the storehouses. <laughs>